It's the final edition of Inside Cowboys Training Camp presented by Ford here from the Globe Life Studios in Frisco, Texas, alongside Rob Phillips. I'm Kyle Yeomans of DallasCowboys.com, where even though Inside Cowboys Training Camp is coming to a close today, training camp still very, very far from being over for the Dallas Cowboys. You still have two more preseason games to go, including the Saturday matchup with the Texans. What have you been looking at since their return from Oxnard? Well, continuing the progress for Dan Quinn and the defense. You know, I think he's happy with the communication that he has from his guys, first year as defensive coordinator, and wants him to just keep getting more comfortable with the scheme, keep playing fast, and get those takeaways up. That's one thing they did well last year on defense. Offensively, it's been kind of a mixed bag because of guys being out, most notably Dak Prescott with the shoulder strain. Not concerned about it. They're just being very, very careful with their starting quarterback. And so it's going to be week one of the regular season probably until we see the whole group together. But boy, are they talented when, when they're all together. Yeah, there's a lot of pieces starting to come together, one of which was Lyle Collins returning from missing the entire 2020 season. He had a bit of a setback in terms of the neck and the back area in the last uh, padded practice at the Ford Center at the Star. What do you think about the situation of Lyle Collins, and should Cowboys fans be worried? No, they shouldn't be. What we've heard it sounds like he's just a precautionary situation for him coming into the last stage of training camp and he's had a good camp coming back from the hip surgery that cost him all of last season feel good about his progress and he didn't leave the field during Wednesday's practice talk to the athletic training staff and it's one of those things Dak Prescott too if there's anything that somebody's dealing with who's in a starting capacity particularly hey don't push it we're eyes toward week one and we've got a full three weeks until the Bucks uh, game Still a lot of time. Yeah, still a lot of time before that September 9th opener against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Kind of sticking with the offensive line there, along with Lyle Collins. I mean, there have been uh, at least reserved a, a careful mentality with Zach Martin and, and Tyron Smith as well. What do you expect to see out of those guys as we head into the final two preseason games? Well, it'll be interesting because I know one thing the Cowboys were interested in, in with Dak's progress. Would he play in preseason? And that sounds unlikely at this point, according to Mike McCarthy. But Again, being careful with him, but if he was going to play, it would be with the full complement on offense. So I'm interested to see what happens if Dak indeed does not play in this game Saturday night. What do they do with some of the starting guys, especially guys like you just mentioned, Lyle Collins, Tyron Smith, coming off injuries last year. Maybe they get some work. Amari Cooper has worked back in as well at wide receiver. Maybe they get some work, but again, keep an eye towards week one, September 9th at Tampa Bay. That's what they're really focused on. And that last preseason game is always four guys fighting for roster spots at the end of the roster. Having those starting five on the offensive line is just as exciting, I think, as getting your quarterback back for a lot of Cowboys fans out there and for good reason. When we come back, why is the biggest surprise of training camp not really a surprise for Maurice Kennedy? We're going to talk about him when we return with more Inside Cowboys Training Camp. Inside Cowboys Training Camp presented by Ford is brought to you by AT&T. More for your thing, that's our thing. Sleep Number. The Sleep Number 360 smart bed helps everyone from parents to pros improve their performance through quality sleep only at a Sleep Number store. And by Ford, built for Texas, built for you. This segment is brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors, official sporting goods retailer of the Dallas Cowboys. Welcome back into Inside Cowboys Training Camp presented by Ford here from the Globe Life Studios as the Cowboys continue to inch forward toward the regular season and one of the most improved areas, the improved units on this Cowboys defense has been the secondary room. Lots of additions, one of which not necessarily an addition in the 2021 offseason, but one that was an opt-out a year ago, Maurice Kennedy, who continues to really turn heads. And even though it might be a surprise to the media, Rob, why is this not a surprise for guys like Maurice Kennedy? I was wondering if you were going to say surprise because he <laughs> mentioned that in his visit with the media earlier this week that I hear people are surprised about me. Turn on the tape. Like, I've, I've made plays in, in my career, and he has since 2016 been at a couple other stops. He's got a couple picks in his career. He's been a core special teams guy early part of his career in the NFL, but he's making plays out here, here back in, in, in the Star Frisco area and as well as back in Oxnard. He's around the ball a lot. They've got him mostly playing inside. He's played outside in his career as well, and he says he's in a little friendly competition with Trayvon Diggs for who can get the most 
hands on the football, most picks. He says they're both about tied with five so far, so it's a nice little competition. Man, five interceptions for both guys in the middle of the, the, the preseason and I guess into training camp as well. That's really exciting. Here's what Maurice Kennedy had to say in his own words about why it's not a surprise he's been playing so well. Um, it could be not not hard, but it could be sometimes frustrating. Like when I hear somebody say they're surprised, I'm like, man, I've been in the league for, I mean, you know, a odd number of years. So <laughs> just look at some film, I guess. But I mean, it's it is what it is. You just got to uh, take the good with the bad. Taking the good with the bad. Maurice Kennedy trying to kind of manage those expectations a little bit. And I think that's what Cowboys fans probably need to do with the secondary. Still a lot of youth there, but there's a ton of bodies that are going to have to be decided on by Dan Quinn. What have you seen throughout training camp that makes this secondary room different? I think there's, like you said, there's a lot of talent there. And it's, it's young talent, as you said. Trayvon Diggs is in his second year. They think he's primed for a big jump. Gave up some plays last year as a second-round pick but made a lot of plays too. led the team in interceptions. They've got veterans coming back. Anthony Brown, Jordan Lewis. We just mentioned Maurice Kennedy as well. And they've added guys in the secondary as well. Demonte Casey at the safety position. Donovan Wilson is a safety. They, they think can emerge, continue to be a starter. So there's a lot to work with there. It's just going to be interesting in terms of the numbers, how, how they work that all out when it's time to cut down the final roster. But remember at the cornerback position, their top four corners last year all missed at least one game. So in, in today's NFL, as much as teams like to spread you out, you need as many good corners as possible. So too much depth is not a bad thing for Dan Quinn right now. No doubt, especially when going up against big time wide receiver cores and deep ones, one of which they will get a chance to see this week against the Houston Texans as the Texans come to town. What can you expect from preseason game number three when we return with more inside Cowboys training camp presented by Ford? This segment was brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors, official sporting goods retailer of the Dallas Cowboys. Inside Cowboys Training Camp presented by Ford was brought to you by AT&T. More for your thing, that's our thing. Sleep Number. The Sleep Number 360 smart bed helps everyone from parents to pros improve their performance through quality sleep only at a sleep number store and by Ford built for Texas built for you. It is the final segment of Inside Cowboys training camp presented by Ford of 2021 Rob Phillips alongside Kyle Yeomans and Rob the Cowboys Texans face off in preseason game number three for Dallas this Saturday at at and Stadium. It's the home preseason opener for the Cowboys and Texans coming to town with a chip on their shoulder, but also this is the dress rehearsal game for Mike McCarthy. What are we going to see from the Cowboys overall? Well, you may see some starters play a little bit more than usual, as, as we talked about earlier. Usually there's a little more game planning for that third game. So, you know, the, they don't do a lot of it the first couple games, I don't think. They've done a little bit more this week, but mainly they're worried about themselves still. If you watch Hard Knocks, Mike McCarthy talking in the team meeting about play style, about playing fast, playing physical, establishing a winning culture. You know, last year so many bad things happened to this team and they wound up 6-10. and 10. They're trying to erase that. They're trying to build a culture back up, and I think that's the biggest thing. But guys to watch, Garrett Gilbert at the quarterback position, still trying to seal up that backup spot, number two guy behind Dak Prescott. Neville Gallimore starting defensive tackle, who they really think is going to make a big jump when he comes back from this elbow injury, but he's out a few weeks. So Osa Digizua, rookie mm -hmm. defensive tackle, number 75, has really looked good and productive in training camp. Watch out for him in this game as well because he's going to get a lot of opportunities, we think. It really will be something to see, especially from a rotational standpoint defensively. A lot of guys on the offense probably not going to see time, much more notably, I guess, on the offensive line. You may have guys like Amari Cooper sprinkled in there. Probably no Dak Prescott as the words of Mike McCarthy. But that's going to do it for us for Inside Cowboys Training Camp. Special thanks to everyone who is a part of these broadcasts throughout Oxnard and in Frisco. Be sure to keep up with Rob Phillips on DallasCowboys.com. I'm Kyle Yeomans. We'll see you next year on Inside Cowboys Training Camp.